Allison here, and in today's video, we are going to learn how to constrain a found set or narrow a found set. It is a fancy way of saying I want to uh, limit the results within the found set that I have uh, rather than doing a whole new find. So let's get started. So we are looking at a list of orders and uh, to start things off, I am going to find January orders. And a quick way to do that is simply to type one for the month of January. And as you will see, these are all orders that appear in January of this year, which is 2018. And the thing that I want is to see just processing because at the moment I really don't uh, mind about the orders that are delivered already. So in order to see the processing, I could do the long way of going back into fine, typing my one, and then typing in the status processing, and then performing that find. And that would get me the result of 15 um, orders that are being processed in January. But I would like to have a shorter way to do it. So I am going to go ahead and do a find again on January, which is where I started. And then this time I'm going into find mode, but under the... Um, requests menu, I'm going to notice that there is a constrained found set option. So I am going to, in the status, without having to type January, I'm going to type in processing and then choose constrain found set. And I get the same 15. So I wanted to demonstrate sort of in a simple way how constrained found set works. It narrows or limits within your already found set. So we have given a simple example of January, but if you did a complex find that involved multiple criteria, rather than having to enter that in um, you know, every time, let's say we wanted to do a constrained found set or a found set of uh, YouTube videos, right? Uh, processing and uh, uh, in January, right? So there's two of them. And then there's only two, but rather than doing that whole find again, if we just wanted to constrain it to Ada's orders, we could go into find and simply enter Ada, choose constrain found set, and we don't have to type all that other information in, because it's narrowing the results that we had uh, from the previous found set. So that is in a nutshell what constrained found set is, but I'd like to move on to give you a few more examples of how this can be used. So going back to um, our January orders, uh, this time I want to actually give you a shortcut so if you're only using um, a single field status, you can scroll to a record that has the status you want. So in this case, I wanna look at processing and I can right click and choose constrain found set. And there we have that same uh, result of 15 records that are processing for January. So if you're just using a single field and a single criteria, the right-click shortcut is super handy. So that is one sort of way to make things quicker. And another instance is, again, keeping it simple and going back to find and January. We have our 101 records. And this time I would like to add two criteria so I can't use the, sh uh, the shortcut because I'd like to find um, orders that are, being, that are in processing for Benjamin as the representative. So this time I'm going to go into, excuse me, find, 
and I'm going to uh, enter processing under status and choose Benjamin for the rep and then go under requests and choose constrain found set. So now I'm just looking at the six orders that belong to Benjamin that are in processing. So that's an example of using uh, two fields and that you can't use the shortcut for that. So you would go up to the records menu and choose, uh, excuse me, the requests menu when you're in find mode and choose constraint found set. So the next example I have of this is these are all of Benjamin's orders that are processing, but if we go back to January, then I want to look at Benjamin's orders, but I want to not include the delivered orders because I'm not concerned about those. I'd like to have a look at all of his orders um, that have not been delivered. So to do that, I go into find and I plug in Benjamin for the rep and I'll go to add new request and in the status field I'm going to choose delivered and then I'm going to choose omit so that the delivered orders are excluded from the results and then under the requests menu I'm going to choose constrain found set and there we have Benjamin's orders and it includes a an order that's on hold so that's another example of how you can use constrain found set to narrow or limit uh, your search results within the found set that you already had, which in this case was uh, January of this year. So that is it for our tutorial today on limiting or narrowing the results uh, within uh, a found set that you already have. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.